back to today's Doc Martin channel. So today we are going to be doing the top 10 Doc Martens of 2023. I'm just going to show you this over here real quick uh, just to flip through the top 10. But I do have I do have this stack over here. Uh, I still probably have to pull a couple more out, but I don't have two of the docs that are on that list. The Romnetti and the Molly. The Molly are on my list. The Romnetti have not been, but I'm second guessing my decision with that. So I will just be posting outfits for you for those that I have put together. And yeah, without further ado guys, let's get into the top 10 Doc Martens of 2023. So the first one we're going to cover is the classic boot, which I think if I didn't have these, I probably would be considered a true Doc Martin girl. The 1460 classic boot. Definitely think that these are a staple. I think that, no, they're not a platform, but they definitely have their place in the wardrobe. They're very clean, but edgy at the same time. Honestly, I think I've worn these maybe once just because I just reach for my platforms more. I do in the fall plan to be styling the 1460s that I have more often because I have a lot of cool ones and they do just bring an edge to an outfit that is different than a platform. It's a more classic grungy look and when I see them styled on Pinterest, I definitely get all googly eyed over them. So I definitely will be incorporating these more this fall. So next one is the 2976 so they show the black ones here but i don't have the black classics i only have the black quad chelsea boots but i do have the this is the day we're having giant mason jar of coffee <laughs> these are the ones i have these are those ones that are really easy to put on if you're not a lace person, you just pull the tab and slip it on. I'm gonna show you guys this one. These are just the classic ones with no platform. And I love the style of these. These were very androgynous to me and I liked these more than the black ones for some reason without the platform. So these are the ones I have. Again, they do have multiple colors and probably ones with different leather. So just be on the lookout if you don't just want the classic black ones, but the classic black are always a great option for a shoe that's gonna make you look sharp and edgy without trying. Okay, so number three is the Fur 2976, which I couldn't believe these were on there, but they are pretty nifty for the winter and they go, like I said, with everything. In this like brown color, honestly, these are very sexy. I wear them a lot in the winter, but yeah, they have the fur inside of them. And the ones that I'll show here are, I think the ones with the fur, but I'm not sure if they have the platform on them. It doesn't look like they do. So yeah, these are the ones I have. Very cute. I will try to link all these down below for you if they are still available. Anywho, these are number three. Number four were the classic Jaden boot. Obviously, these are my most worn pair. These were my first ever pair of Doc Martens I purchased. So as you can see, they are pretty worn, but the soles still look so good. Other, and I think they're due for a shining and a protectant layer definitely do for one and number five is the Romnetti boot which again I don't have but like I said I think I'm gonna add them to my list because I don't know why I haven't they just didn't appeal to me when I seen them so I was like eh you know but I will just show some pieces I put together that boot up here uh and yeah that will be the styling portion for that one sorry guys I just don't have them uh but how I would style them, I can at least show you that. All right, number six is the 1461 Beck Smooth Leather. Now, I don't have the classic ones. Of course, I have the Oxford uh, platform ones. And then I do have these though. Have to have some edge to mine, you know. So these are the 1461 Stud Black. I actually haven't worn these yet. I don't know why because they are, they are beautiful, honestly. I love the studs. So after I style docs with you guys, I noticed that I do tend to reach for them and wear the outfits, which I really love. So yeah, we're gonna style these today and I'm really excited. Again, these are the smooth leather. They just have the studs on them. So these are pretty much the same shoe. 
just keep that in mind but i just don't have the classic black this ones are the classic black leonas and again i need to add these to my list because i have a bunch of colors in the leonas for example this one which i wear a lot the leona and butterscotch more of a feminine boot i would say for sure more of doc martin's more feminine ones the black ones look so so good i don't know why i've never purchased the black ones don't ask me all right something. guys the next one are the mollies these have been on my list uh, i just want to buy some extra laces to place in them because i really like the laces on these these have been on my list for a long time but i pushed them to the back as far as purchasing goes we'll style the mollies for you here with an outfit i put together and i think i have to get the app i use for this but i like this app it's very simple and it does help you style some outfits too if you're into that so yeah, I'll put that one right here for you. Number nine is the shriver boot. This is one that I used to wear at Journeys and everybody used to ask if we had it and I bought it. This was one of my first few pairs. So I got the Jaden boot. I'm not sure what I bought after that, but then I think I got the shriver boot. This is a really early purchase for me. I love the shriver boot. It gives a look. See here, this is the shriver. I do have this one in black. I don't know if they have any other colors of the shriver. These are also, ooh, they dirty. I need to, I need to shine these babies. See yeah, how that leather is looking rough, but these are the shriver boots and they kind of have a different texture to them. They're not like a smooth leather. It doesn't say what leather they are. They just say burnished Wyoming on them. But these are due for a clean, guys. I gotta clean these. I don't think I've cleaned these once since I've got them. And I, I used to, wear, I do wear these a lot, especially in the fall. But yeah, these are just a classic, very, very chic boot. These are very chic, especially when you put them on, which you guys will see soon. Three last ones on the list, which should be no surprise, are the Doc Martin Sinclair Classic Black. And I have fallen in love with these. But here they are. And again, we will be styling these today. I know I have a follower that really wants to see me review these and they will be reviewed, I promise. I just wanted to step away from some of the normal videos I've been doing and throw some spunk in there. I will have a video coming soon too with my entire Doc Martin collection, so stay tuned for that. But without further ado, let's get into the fun part, the styling portion of this video. All right guys, just to make this a little bit more fun and spunky, these are the docs here. I'm gonna style them in the order of my most favorite to least favorite. Now, don't get all hype about this guys. These are probably just gonna be more so of a what I would reach for before some other styles that are here. I have a place in my heart for all Doc Martens. So I love all of the ones that are on this list, but we're just gonna have some fun and do it from my most favorite to style, from least favorite to style as of right now. Starting with the first boot. I chose the Jaden boot because these were my first babies and they will always be my favorites at the bottom of my heart. Much love to my other docs. But these are probably my most favorite on this list. Ask you why I've never worn these denim. They're hot fire flames. This is basically how I would style a Jaden boot really i love styling denim and different styles of denim with the jaden boot in particular it just gives an edge and lifts the outfit and although this is a simple fit you can layer this however you want so i'm just going to show you some ways that i would layer this i actually have a really cute sweater that i think i'll layer for this so because fall is coming and we're all super excited here is a sweater that i would layer with this outfit i love how baggy this is this is effortless this is fun you got the pop of color the black boot the black and white stripes i don't know this is very fun it almost feels like mixing a little bit of spring with winter and it is so fun for me show you one more way you guys can layer this obviously it's going to be a blazer i don't know i'm feeling a blazer but i'm not sure okay Unfortunately, this blazer is very slept on for me, but I just need us to take a moment and look at this. Like this, this is so fun. You got the black, you have the white, you got the pink, you're keeping within the three color range. I actually really like how the choker pairs with all this too. It almost brings the black with the black and balances it. Not almost, it does. 
and this is just so effortless and chic to me. This is so awesome. Players. Although, although it took a while, these have 150% grown on me, has probably one of my favorites. It's definitely something I would wear just by itself. Something that I would throw over to give it some edge, just give me a second. Because I honestly always forget I have this because it's always hiding somewhere. Okay, so this is so fun for me. I sleep on this jean jacket. Uh, I love this jean jacket. This is literally an ancient purchase for me from Forever 21. And can we just take a moment for this fit? And I am going to throw more of a fall like jacket over for you guys to show you another way that I would wear this. A leather jacket is too predictable. Obviously, I would wear that, but let's try something else. Okay, maybe this is also extremely predictable. But yeah, let's just take a moment to just appreciate this look. 150% a look. The third pair we're gonna go with these obviously these are more of a winter fall boot because of the fur but when i say i love the style of these i love to style these so let's do it really trashy fishnets uh but i do really like these fishnets they're just really comfortable and this is a micro mini that i thrifted a few weeks ago pull on these socks for extra layering i would probably throw in a white sock more realistically but i did like the extra edge it added to the outfit. I liked that the colors in this match the boot with the pinks and the rust and the reds. So this is definitely something I would wear out. Probably to like the bar or something or a night out. This is definitely a little bit more risque but yeah I really like this fit. You could always layer it to like a more dressed down look. You could always do this if you like black and brown together. Some people don't. I kind of like the fall colors. I think it's fun and cute. I mean, I'd be everybody's cup of tea. The sugar boot is next on my list. So I'm having trouble deciding between these and the Leonas because they're on the same tier for me as far as favorites go, but I chose these first. So I think we know who the winner is. This denim corset top, and then the shiver boots. And I kind of actually like that you can see my ankles, and I didn't think I would, but I like that you have a little bit of the bagginess in the leg. And there is a lot of skin going on here, but I would love this as a night outfit like throw on some gold jewelry, some chains, some edgy pieces as far as accessories go. And this would be a really cute outfit. I also have this bag that I have really been meaning to style and I just don't know. Okay, see this, this right here, this bag, it just put it all together for me. I know matching a bag to your shoes is a little cliche, but I'm going to say that I love the look of this. We got a look. I just bought these like little tanks for two things from Express. I'm actually wearing this backwards because I realized like how cute it was backwards. It is a v-neck, um, it's just a little rib tee, but yeah, uh, 
By the way guys, it is 2023 and if you see my nips, this is just how it's gonna go. Definitely a cute fit. I just thrifted these Athleta cargos and obviously I'm wearing the Leona's, which again, these just bring so much of a good fall look to outfits. And this is a classic easy look. Thrifted this jacket recently. Think that this would be an outfit I would definitely wear out. Uh, again, an errand outfit an outfit to just chill in, I don't know, going over to your friend's house, a little midday brunch. This is very cute. I do have this one. And again, we're making this very fall very quickly. <laughs> yeah, this would be something I would definitely wear out on a chilly day. This is definitely a little less on the edgy side for me, more on the feminine and the chic side, but I'm totally okay with that. Okay guys, so after looking for a baby tee in my mess, this is how I would style these. Uh, so these are my third from last. Again, I'm not gonna put the Rom Netty and the Molly in this because I haven't really gotten to style them on my own and owned them. Guys, what do you think? I really like this, I think this is cute. It's almost fall, but not quite. It's more of a transitional fit. And I've been seeing so many of these best styled open with these baby tees and I'm not gonna lie, I'm obsessed with that look, and I have a lot of these vests that I plan to style like that this fall and winter, so yeah, this is really, really cute, and I love the crop denim. I have been also loving crop denim in any style. There's something about it, even with my short legs, that I just really, really adore. But yeah, this is how I would style this 2976 without the platform. me for kind of being an outfit repeater and doing this vest again or a vest again but I don't know if you guys know but colorful socks are in this season they are trending so I thought this would be a fun fit I also kind of have this funky button situation going on with this vest so I lost a button because I thrifted this and I sewed it back on and I like this I think this is so cute uh, again it's not very balanced it would probably be better if I had a white button down here but I still like it. It's a little, I don't know, juxtaposition, if you will. It's one of my new favorite words, but. Anywho, here's the fit. These are a pair of men's thrifted blue jeans, and then again, thrifted vest, and then a white baby tee underneath. And then I'm wearing the studded Oxfords. I'm not gonna lie, I love the androgyny of this outfit. I can't say the word androgynous enough. This is definitely a hex yes love this look this is super fun I've reached for them once. Love these boots. Like I said, come fall, my goal is to style the 1460s way more. This is the look without a sweater, but I would probably throw a sweater over this. So let's look for a sweater. Oh, this is it. Okay. So this is how I would style this for fall. I super love this look. I honestly think this is like my second favorite uh besides the camel pants this falls under my second favorite look i want to wear these docks so bad with this outfit now have i been sleeping my whole life i don't know but oh my god i love this <laughs> Add. Okay guys, I wanted to add this belt because I'm loving the low waist belt trends and if you want to try them out with some skirts, I would like to get a more wide 2K belt because besides grommet belts, I don't really own any. But this is one of my most worn belts. Uh, it is a snake belt, it is from Express, but can we just take a moment to appreciate the perfection of this outfit? I have never been happier. Like, I am so in love with this. 
this is so cute and then this back is actually open so you can see that too but yeah it's you so much for being here please comment down below i want to hear what your favorite outfit was i had so much fun doing this with you guys and next video i think is finally going to be the floral sinclair review so stay tuned for that one you guys so much for being here thank you for the support please like this video if you enjoyed this and you want to see more stuff like this and i had so much fun hanging out with you guys as always i will see you in the next one